Hey my lovely, Serene Dream here, back with another pick a card reading. And today's requested topic is Do They Miss Me? And this is going to specifically apply to um, someone that you're not in communication with. And um, it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates. Leave what does not reverse the messages if that's how fits your situation. If you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for 2024 or your love forecast for last year, 2023, if you're watching this prior to me posting the love forecast for 2024, you can view those videos at the Vimeo links below in the description box. If you like to book a personal reading with me, link to that information can be found below as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And on the screen are three um, images. Go ahead and make your selection. If you need more time, you can pause the video, but we're going to go ahead and begin with group number one. Okay, so for those who chose image number one, did your person that you're coming to this reading about miss you? I'm hearing the tea is hot. Um, I feel like there is a lot that this person is not, I feel like there's a lot that this person is hiding as far as their feelings for you. This person, I feel like you're perceiving something incorrectly about them i guess some kind of energy where like this could be someone who has a crush on you but like they don't they try not to show that like you could even feel like they send you mixed signals and so it's always you know you are always confused about whether or not they were really interested in you but this person is definitely interested i feel like they try to confuse you on purpose because they actually have a lot of attraction to you they really like you and they like if they were if they were to be honest that's why i heard um the tea is hot in the beginning if they were to be honest they want to be close to you like they want to have like a real intimate relationship with you not just sex like this person wants you in their lives but i get something about there's a fear there's some kind of emotional blockage with this person they could be someone who doesn't trust easy they could be af like afraid of intimacy um specifically they don't like it's like they have these thoughts and desires in their mind of having like a close intimate relationship with someone but it's like the very thing they fear so they push people away and if they feel like they're showing if this person feels like they're showing too much of their emotions, it's like they'll pull back and try to confuse you on purpose so you'll think that they don't like you. I feel like that's what they've been doing with you. But yeah, the uh, the truth is that this person does want you. They are interested in you. I feel like they think about you night and day. And I get like they love to entertain the fantasies surrounding you it's like they don't want to express anything to you but it's like when they have a moment to just be in their head about you they enjoy that i get something about like you could be on break i don't know like maybe you are if you work with this person you could be on vacation or they could be on vacation or like if you um I don't know. It could be like you work with this person, go to school with this person, live around this person. But I feel like at, for the time being, someone, one of you is away, like away from your normal environment where you see each other. Because I'm getting like there's a break or it could even be like that. Um, it could be something more permanent, like you just recently moved away or you just recently changed jobs or this person did. So they don't get to see, you don't get to see each other anymore. Or like I said, if it's just a break, it's like you're not seeing each other for a while because one of you is away temporarily. So during this break or if it's more permanent um, where you no longer are around in the same environment because of some kind of change in life, this person is definitely missing you. And if this is a break situation, like you're just away temporarily, this person can't wait. They, they can't wait for you to get back or for themselves to get back to see you. It's like they're anxious to see your face. If you're no longer around this person in like a more permanent way, I feel like they are... 
they could like I, I'm not really getting at the moment that they're intending to take action but I feel like they're thinking about you very heavily and missing you so much and maybe thinking about what they could have said to you or could have done before you left like I feel like those scenarios play out in their head of like what they could have said or done um to let you know how they feel before you left but like realistically speaking based on who this person is they don't have any intention like that's not something they are open to doing yeah i'm getting a lot of like ending energy so yeah it could be like a number of you recently moved away from this person like i said changed jobs moved you know out of the um, neighborhood that you lived in together you know graduated changed schools anything like that because it's just this person feels like they lost out on a great chance with you. And some of them don't even know how to get in contact with you. This person may not be on social media like that. If they have a page, I feel like it's a page that's like pretty much abandoned, like is no activity on it. Um, it could be like posts from like five or more years ago and it's like the last post they made. They don't post stories, they don't, uh, you don't see them under, you know, they don't like anything. They don't comment on anything. And that's if they have a page at all. Because some of them, I feel like they don't even have a social media presence. At least not one using their own identity. So yeah, this person doesn't have a way to contact you. It's like now that you're, if you're gone in a more permanent way, they don't have a way to contact you. So they're just in their head fantasizing about, what it would have been like if they had expressed themselves to you. If this is um, just like you two being apart due to some kind of break. Um, yeah, because I'm definitely getting that this is not someone that you've dated before. This is just someone that you've you've just crushed on each other secretly. That's all that's been going on here. And if you've been away from each other in like a temporary way, I get, um, when you come back, it's like, they're going to be there or when they come back or you come back, whoever it is, it's been away. They're going to be a lot more talkative. Like they're not going to express to you like how they feel, but you're going to be able to tell that they missed you because all of a sudden they're going to like, just have so much to say. They're going to be striking up conversations for no reason. And you know, asking you how your trip was or how your break was and just talking about random things, any opportunity they get to engage in conversation with you they're gonna take it and I feel like this could be the most that they've ever talked to you but it's like they feel like they miss you so much so when they get the chance to see you again they're like I just want to soak up every chance every moment I get to engage with group one yeah just seeing your face brings this person joy they miss you in your way and like I said, if you're gone, like in a more permanent way, they definitely miss you. They miss you so deeply. They think about you night and day. They obsess over the thought of you. But I just get that this person has no intention on expressing. I, I, like if I was to give you advice here on whether you should wait for this person, if that was the question you're coming to this reading about, I would say, heck no. Because this person, like they just... They have their issues, like I said, and they don't really have any intention on uh, dealing with that issue and evolving past it. They just, they don't mind having a crush to fantasy secretly and just living like that for the rest of their lives. So yeah, I would just advise you to just open up your options to other people. But if you just want to know just how they feel, they miss you. They miss you. Whether you're away temporarily or permanently, they miss you. But like I said, if it's a temporary break and you're coming back around each other, this person is going to show signs that they miss you because they're going to want to talk to you a lot. So, you know, take from that what you will. Okay, so let's move on to image number two. Give me a moment to timestamp here. Okay, so for those who chose image number two, does your person miss you? I'm hearing a lot, a lot, a lot. 
I feel like this is someone that you used to be in a relationship with. This is an ex. If not an official relationship, this is at least someone that you've engaged with romantically. This could be someone who I'm getting friends with benefits, someone who you know you've expressed interest in each other, but you never officially got into a relationship or someone that you were in an official relationship with. I'm also picking up ex-husband or wife. So yeah, this is definitely someone you are aware that you um, there's been a connection here and it's been expressed. It's been lived or it's been at least like the feelings of a connection have been expressed. But this person misses you a lot, a lot, a lot. I heard a lot three times. You walked away from this person. You couldn't take it anymore. I feel like you stepped into... Um, it's like you stepped into a new season, like you vowed to yourself that you wouldn't put up what you put up with in the previous season with this person. You feel like that era of your life of dealing with their foolishness is over. And I feel like it. you struggled to walk away. I don't feel like it was easy for you to do this. I feel like this is definitely someone that you loved very much and um, you really had high hopes for the two of you, but... It's like this person either never stepped up to the plate fully or this person just like if it was a situation like you were friends with benefits or, you know, you were connecting, but it never fully involved into a relationship, evolved into a relationship. It's like this person never stepped up to take that next step into a relationship. And if you were actually in a relationship or marriage with this person, I feel like this person kept messing up like they kept. Um, doing things to, I'm hearing, betray the relationship, betray you. And I just get like you, you gave them plenty opportunity to change. You gave them plenty chances. And it's like you reached a point where you realize that this person is never going to change. The situation was never going to change. So you decided that you were going to walk away because you're like, it's like you finally woke up to see the situation, see this person for who they truly are. That's what I'm getting. You, um, I don't like talking about my life, but I feel like, uh, I'm being guided to tell you all that, uh, I've experienced this quite recently I don't know why like I don't know why I feel like I'm being pushed to tell you guys that but yeah whatever so I mean I I sympathize empathize really with you all because I've been there but yeah this is someone that you did not want to walk away from but they wouldn't change so you um you moved on And I feel like it hurt you as much as it hurt them to leave this relationship or connection behind. This person... I feel like this... like I feel like you both miss each other. But I feel like you're coping better with, uh, like leaving, like this being over than this person is. I feel like this person is kind of like stuck in a rut and I feel like you are healing and, um, it's like, I'm getting this energy, like you're up, you're moving around and moving forward. And this person is just like laying down and kind of like a sick bed, like they're just, severely depressed they can't really this person could have trouble like either waking up in the morning you know and doing what they have to do or they have trouble sleeping you know or it could be both because they don't really get to sleep at night when they do fall asleep it's like so late into the like it's like into the wee hours of the morning and they get like so few hours of sleep that they don't that they struggle to wake up it's like this person is just struggling to do life basically they're struggling to get through life i feel like you are you're not down and down and out i feel like you're moving um you're getting things done you're healing i feel like you're almost at the point where you're like ready to fully mentally and emotionally let this go
I feel like you have great things awaiting you. I'm also hearing it's already in motion. So you could already be in the process of like moving on for real into like a happier state in your life, whether that be you being single and happy or being like in another relationship, happy with someone else. But I feel like as you're listening to this reading, this is already in motion for you. Whatever the future holds for you, that future is already unfolding. I feel like this person that you left behind, they're trying to interfere because I feel like they, I don't know, this person could like stalk you on social media. I don't know if it, like you're posting you're worried about so whatever but if you are i feel like this person is like keeping up with you and like they're trying to get in the way of your happiness like to it's like they're trying to stall you from moving forward that's what i get especially if it's like a like you're involved with someone else like you're moving on with someone else and this person knows about it i feel like they're trying to find a way to thwart your forward movement in that relationship I'm also hearing energetically. So this person could just be picking up energetically that you're moving on from them and they're trying to like uh, energetically block you. Like it's like they're trying to, I don't know how to explain this. It's like they're trying to get in your energy field and like halt things like in your life so that you don't move on from them like you've turned your back on them you're not communicating with this person anymore but it's like they just it's almost like uh i'm getting the energy of like because they're not happy they don't want to see you happy i don't know if i'm getting the energy of like if i can't have you nobody else can that's kind of what i'm picking up from this person so they're like if you're not going to be with me then you're not going to be with anybody else like i'm not going to be here stuck on you and seeing you happy like they want to feel or this person wants you to feel what they're feeling they want you to be as miserable as they are and i feel like they don't they're feeling you moving out of that energy or they're seeing you move out of that energy and they're trying to get in the way of that to keep you stuck. This person is trying to do something energetically or maybe even physically to keep you stuck in a, in a place that is similar, if not the same as where they are. But I, I'm hearing you're too strong for that. You have an amazing divine um, force on your side. God is on your side guiding you through this. And God has given you the strength to move on past this person. That's why I get like, while it was hard for you and you could still miss this person, I get that um, like God is doing the, like God is doing the heavy lifting to ensure that you're not stuck on this person. It's kind of like a, an energy of like, feel what you feel, but let it go. So I feel like you're actively moving through those waters you know where you're still kind of I feel like it kind of I'm getting Normani song waves so I feel like you deal with these emotions for this person like the lingering feelings for this person in waves like some days you're completely like you feel like you're completely over them and some days it's like a wave that hits you and you'll miss them you know and think about them i feel like that's you've been going in and out it's like an ebb and flow and I, I mean it makes sense because i feel like this is very recent this is something that may have happened um no more than i want to say like six months ago a little i'm no more than six months ago but it could even be something like as recent as maybe a, a couple months ago it's something no, I'm, I was about to say it's not six months ago. It's not six months ago. Four months at most. Because I feel like if you were in this for six months, like the separation from this person, you will completely be moved on because you're almost there. I feel like in another two months, because it's been at most four months of you dealing with this um, breakup or disconnection from this person, I feel like in another two months, you'll be completely over them, like completely energetically 
completely energetically disconnected from them. So yeah, it's you're just going through it, but it's like you're move you're actively moving forward. And I feel like you are for most of you you're moving forward with someone else. And I feel like this is like you're really in love with this person or you're going to fall in love with this person that you're um moving on to. I'm hearing birds of a feather. So you and this person that you're moving on with you're about to meet and move on with you and this person have like a lot more in common than you and your past person this person moves like you they think like you they want what you want it's like you're both on the same page when it comes to like how you envision your future um you could want like the same amount of kids you could want you know if you want to get married this person wants to get married too or if you don't want to get married this person doesn't want to get married but they want to have like a commitment it's like your minds, your bodies, your souls, your spirits, they're very much in sync, you and this new person. So I'm hearing one monkey don't stop no show. So again, your your ex, this past person, they are trying to get in the way of this because I feel like they are either seeing this um, unfolding for you or they're energetically picking up that someone is coming into your life or is already in your life. And this person is getting some sort of impressions about like things going on with you in this new relationship or that's about to happen for you in a new relationship. They're seeing signs that you're about to get married and or have a family, that you're about to be really happy. And I get like it's saddening this person so much, like it hurts them so bad to think like you can be that happy without them. I'm hearing because they thought that they thought that they were your one. And so they don't like to think that you could be happier or just as happy with someone else as you were with them once upon a time. But I'm getting that you are indeed going to be happier with this new person. And some some of you already are. Some of you already some of you are already with this new person. This person admires you deeply. And I don't really know why I'm picking up on this new person because we're talking about this old person who misses you, but I feel like the person, this new person that is already in your life or about to come in, they have a very strong energy. I feel like they're very, um, I don't want to say possessive because it's not like it has a negative connotation, but I get like this person is like, they're very, uh, they don't play about you. I'm going to just say that. Like they, it's like they've, they either are already doing this or they're going to be someone who creates this sort of like energetic force field around you where like they're not going to play about people like coming around like exes trying to interfere like this person could be someone who's very heavy into like energetic energy and shadow work because I get like this person is able to pick up on threats that are unseen so this person is like doing work or they're going to do work to like block any threats. If this is, if this person is already in your life, even if you have not communicated anything about your exes to them, they are picking up on your ex's energy, lingering, lingering around your energy field and they are actively doing things to get rid of it. Um, Cause they don't want anything in the way of the two of you. They, they know that this person is a problem. There could even be more than one ex who's lingering in your energy field. I'm picking that up for somebody. And this person is like, it's like they're going in and like yanking them out. Like, get the hell out of here. Like, you get the hell out of here. You like, you don't belong here anymore. You have no idea this is going on. Because I just get like, there's no, I don't feel like you talk about your past with this person. That could have been something going forward that you made a rule about to yourself that you're not going to discuss your past. Because maybe in the past when you did discuss your past relationships, that could have backfired in some way. So you decided going forward that you weren't going to discuss your past. Like this person knows you, you know, you've been in relationships before, but I feel like you don't really talk too much about the details of like, oh yeah, my ex, they cheated on me or, oh yeah, you know, this person broke my heart. Or, oh, you know, it's like, you're not giving them details about anything, but this person knows, your new person knows. And I feel like your ex or exes, because like I said, for somebody, it could be more than one person that's feeling this way about you who's trying to keep you stuck um 
they know about this new person. Whether they're seeing signs of this person being around or not physically, they know this person is around. It's like it's almost like these people are um, battling in another dimension over you. It's like they're fighting over you. That's what I'm getting. These people, these exes, this ex or the exes and this new person, it's, I'm getting like there's one on four. That could be for somebody. You could have up to four exes or four past energies who are like trying to like stay stick around in your energy field and this new person is coming in like a warrior to like get rid of these people and it's like they all are kind of trying to gang up on your 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 new person and and like I said if you haven't met this new person yet I feel like this is going to happen but yeah they're like they're like ganging up on your new person it's like they are um it's like these people could have previously been battling each other over you, but it's like now they all have a common enemy. So like they're banding together to try to get rid of the new person in your energy field. And it's like your new person, they don't like, they're not scared of them. Like they can, they like the new person is like, it could be 10 of y'all. I'll, I'll fight y'all. I'll fight all of y'all. It's like, that's how they feel. And I feel like they're very strong and they're very wise. So it's like, they're actively fighting these people and getting them out of your energy. Occasionally these people will push themselves back. And that's why you would, you would experience the waves of emotion of like sometime missing this ex. I feel like your most recent ex, like even though it could be other exes and your other past people in your energy as well. But I feel like the most recent ex has like the strongest energy of the brood. And um, I feel like that person keeps like trying to force their way into your energy field. So it's like a head to head battle, mainly between those two, your most recent ex and like this new person. I feel like they keep going head to head in the other dimension and fighting, but occasionally the other um, past people would come in and join in on the battle to help your ex too. It's like the most recent ex that is. And so, but I feel like every time they get pushed out because this new person, like their energy does not play. This person has like a very, um, I'm hearing potent energy. And I don't really know where this is going because I thought this is going to be a, just a simple reading of like, do they miss you or not? But this is going into like a whole other galactic <laughs> you know, type of uh, energy here with this reading. But yeah, this, long story short, the person you came to this reading about, they definitely missed you. And I feel like they are actively fighting for you and in the other um, dimension. And your new person, whether you have met them or not, they are battling this person and they are winning. And I feel like in about two months time, your ex will be of no consequence at all. Like you won't think about them. You won't have these like, I still miss them kind of moments. I feel like that's, I don't know why I'm picking up. A, it's a it's a song by Jesse Ware, I think. I think it's called like something kind of maybe. Hold on. I feel like I need to look it up. Give me a moment, guys. Kind of sometimes, maybe that's the song. Um, I feel like it's relevant to this reading somehow. Let me look at the lyrics. <laughs> it's funny seeing it's, uh, somebody associated with this song. It says, do I get lonely at all? No, because Jamie and Johnny and Jack keep me warm. This wasn't my fault. I don't cry. God, no, I don't cry. Could you just leave it alone? You keep haunting my nights. You keep asking me twice if I miss you at all. And I won't lie, though I try. Oh, kind of sometimes maybe. Oh, kind of sometimes maybe. Oh, kind of sometimes maybe. Am I still afraid of the dark? No bright ideas. I keep the lights on. Are you wasting my time and your time every time? While you're making it hard, I won't show you my cards, but you came and you lost. Do I want you at all? Okay, just a bit. I admit, I feel like these are your feelings. 
I feel like this is like your ex's energy penetrating your energy field and you could be like telepathically communicating with them and they're like asking you um I don't know it's just so funny <laughs> it's so funny to see the credits on this song wow but um yeah uh I don't know it's just I feel like your ex is like coming to you telep like sending you messages telepathically and like asking you do you miss me at all do you miss me just a little bit like am I just out and I feel like there are moments where you get like have a little moment where you just like if I'm being honest, yeah, I miss you a little bit, like sort of, kind of, sometimes, maybe I miss you a little bit, but it doesn't make, it's like you're saying it doesn't matter if I do because like I'm better off without you. Um, it's like, yeah, it's like you're saying I have my moments where I miss you and moments where I even think that I may still want you, but then... You're like, no, you're just like, no, I don't, I don't need it though. It's like, I, it's like you're saying in the moments I may want you, but then I think about it harder and I say like, I don't need you. Like, it's like you think about what this person put you through and then you're just like, no, I don't, I don't need to go back there. And I feel like that's like your final answer every time. So I feel like that's what this person, um, that's what you've been dealing with with this person like your ex is just really your ex is refusing to let go but like i said in about a couple more months you're gonna they're gonna be completely out of your energy field one because god is helping you through this healing process and getting over this person that's the most important thing you yourself you're actively going along with that guidance because you want to be over this person you're not fighting it so it's not even like someone's forcing you to move on it's like you you want to let go you're willing to let go of this completely and then the other factor you have included is your new person is actively helping to get rid of this person out of your energy field so it's like with all of that combined this person is about is going to have to say sarinara to you um very soon so whether they want to let go or not they're going to be forced to but yeah they definitely miss you like i said they don't even want to let go of you they want to keep you stuck with them energetically at least and if you were to be you know naive enough if i'm being honest to come back to them they would be elated but i nothing would change this person will remain the same they never had any plans to change and i feel like that's what you realize and that's why you moved on in the first place so yeah that's what you got for that group that was long wow we're gonna move on to group three let me timestamp this here Okay, so for those who um, chose group number three, did your person miss you? I feel yes, they do, but they won't say it. This person isn't, it's like they, I get this energy, like this person doesn't want to bother you. This could be an ex. This could be someone that you've dealt with romantically on some level, whether it was an official relationship or not. But I get that, um... Oh my gosh. Hold on. What I'm getting with this group is that this person does an issue. They're not saying anything right now, but I feel like they are intending to come forward and get you. Like this person What I'm picking up with this group, this is this could be someone that you were like I don't know, I'm getting like heavy twin flame energy. Um soulmate, high level soulmate energy. Cause I get what was going on here. There was like a runner chaser dynamic, and I feel like this person was running from their feelings for you. So you all had something, but I feel like it wasn't like explored to any real level. There was more so like you met, you had encounters. You had moments 
But this person, every time things would get really intense between you, they would run. And I feel like the, like this last time they ran, they just kind of shut down. Like they had no, like you weren't seeing this person. You weren't, I don't, I feel like you could have communicated how you felt. Like you could have given your full expression um, to this person, like how you truly felt about them. And I feel like it, it, like it was so intense that they ran. And I feel like they ran and they just shut down. It's like I'm imagining somebody going into a room and like shutting all the blinds and just sitting in the dark room and just sitting with their thoughts. Like no noise, no light, no nothing. And, um, and I feel like they've just kind of been in that room just like thinking. And I feel like the what they've been thinking about is like how to return to you they didn't know how to express to you right then when you expressed how you felt to them. But this person, I feel like they can't, this person has like a problem, like dealing, like being vulnerable, opening up, like expressing deep, um, soft feelings. Like, I feel like this person doesn't have trouble expressing like the harder emotions, like anger and, you know, things of that nature. But like when it comes to like soft emotions, this person struggles with expressing that side of themselves. And um, when you expressed how you felt, I feel like it, it moved them. Like it was such a soft, um, it gave them such a soft feeling. And it's like they, they're just instinct- it's like they had a fight or flight moment and they decided to take flight. <laughs> and they've just been in this dark room with all the blinds shut and no distractions ever since. Just trying to think about how they were going to reply to you. You could have looked at this person like they were crazy. Like I just, like this person, <laughs> I'm here, I'm getting that meme in my head. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> it's like this person, um, I feel like that was your reaction to them. Like when you open up to them and they just like shut down, disappeared. You're just like, what? Like, what? Like, why are you running away? Like, how do you feel? Like you can, if you don't like me, you can tell me, you know, if you don't see, if you don't feel the way that I feel, you can tell me. It's like you were, that's where your mind was. But this person is like, they feel the way you feel, but they're just, they didn't know how to say it at the moment. So they, they went away to figure out how to, express their feelings to you they went away and shut down to like work on that part of themselves that has trouble opening up their softer side and I feel like they've been dealing with that ever since so they've been quiet they've been really mute and I feel like this person is planning to come get you like they're planning to like express themselves to you, but more than express themselves to you, it's like they're planning to almost like come in and take you by the hand and say, okay, let's do this. So it's not just like coming in and confessing like, hey, I love you too. It's like this person is coming in like like a man or like a man with a plan or a woman with a plan. It's like they're coming to take you by the hand and say, is there a song like that? Take you by the hand. I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of songs with those lyrics, but, but, um, yeah, this person's coming in. They're planning to, it's like when they show up, they don't even want to say nothing. They just want to be about action. They just want to be able to just come in, like pop up, grab you by the hand, just lead you out the building into their world. Like that's the way they want this to go. And I feel like this is what they've been, they've been away working up the courage on how to do that. Yeah, they're going to open up to you. They're, they're away temporarily, but they are not. This, this is not a permanent thing. They just want a way to get their head straight and figure out a plan on how to do this. Because in their mind, they're like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it all the way. They de And I feel like the whole time they've been in this planning mode, they've been missing the hell out of you. Like, they miss you so much. It's been so many times they want to just reach out to you, but they feel like they can't do it without... Like they don't want to do it prematurely or without like everything being planned. Um, it's like because when they do it, they want to make sure that they're going all the way. It's something about this person has like an all or nothing energy I'm picking up. So it's like 
they don't want to come in half half assing anything. They don't want to um like just tell you how they feel and you go slow. It's like this person is like, if I'ma have you, I'ma have all of you. If I'ma be with you, I'ma be with you in like the most extreme way. It's like so th that will play out like this person wouldn't try to come in and court you and take you out on a couple dates, you know, and build up a slow like this person would be like, Okay, I'm taking you by the hand to propose to you, to marry you, you know, to it's like they wanna they want to go to extreme lengths with you. So this is what they've been away working on and building up the courage for. But they're going to come in and express to you how you how they feel. They just, um, they're getting themselves together. It's like they're getting themselves together for you. Because what I'm getting is this person could have felt like they weren't all the man or the woman that they that you deserve. So they went away to like become that. And I feel like they're almost at the point of um, like they're almost at the point of being like fully formed into that man or the woman that they feel you deserve. And this is, you know, they're they're like I said, they're coming in like the man with the plan. I just keep getting that they have a plan. But it's like they've just been away in thinking mode, missing you while working on this plan. I'm hearing they know you're waiting because something within you, although this person just like disappeared, went ghost on you, something within you tells you that it's not over. Like all the signs may point to this being over and, you know, in any other given situation, I feel like you would have just accepted that this person doesn't, you know, they don't reciprocate your feelings, but something inside of you, despite this person ghosting you, it, it told you like intuitively you knew that you know this was not the end of the story that this person was going to come back or this person was going to like they were going to open up to you eventually it's like you somehow just you know so I feel like you have been waiting um and I feel like you're leaving the door open like Silk Sonic you know like you're leaving the door open in a sense for this person to come back because you feel like they are coming back and you will be correct and I'm hearing they're coming back like a thief in the night. So you're not going to know when they're coming. You're not going to know how they're coming. This person could have like a very wild, uh, a wild dish nature about them because I feel like they love to do the unexpected. They love to be an unpredictable person and they love to do the unexpected. And so they know that you're probably expecting them to come back in a certain type of way, like a normal person. <laughs> quote unquote, but um, this person's like, no, nah, I don't want to do it like that. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it my way. And like I said, they're going, they're going to sneak up on you like a thief in the night and just take you by the hand and like, come on, you're mine now. And that's like, that's how they tell you that they feel the same way. They may not even come in with so many words. They're doing something that is very different. Like it's, it's going to um, exceed your expectations. Like you're not going to know or expect how this person is going to come back or how this person is going to like, yeah, it like, that's really what I'm getting. They're just, you're not going to know how they're coming back to you, but they are coming back to you. That's the one thing, you know, for certain, you feel that intuitively, but you don't know how you don't know when they're going to sneak up on you. And it's like when they do come back, I feel like they're, it's like in a very overwhelming way. Like they're presenting something to you that's very, like the offer they make to you or like how they come back. It's like, it's, it, it overwhelms you. I keep getting that energy. And I feel like they love the thought of that. Like they're imagining what your your reaction is going to be, you know, because I get like your heart is going to be racing. Your head is going to be spinning like what? Like you're just going to be like what? Like you don't even know how to wrap your mind around like what this person is about to come with. That's what I'm getting here. And whatever you try to conjure up in your mind right now, I feel like just try to just let those thoughts go because it's not that like you you can't even guess how this person is coming back to you they won't even give me the information on how this is going to play out 
But I get like this person has this kind of energy. Like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to f they head up with this. It's like <laughs> they're wanting to like come in and blow your mind. I'm hearing Eve and Gwen Stefani's blow your mind. Yeah, it's like um, they want to blow your mind. Your mind is going to be blown officially when this person comes back. But one thing you're gonna know for certain is that it's a wrap on anything else in your past. If there was anything. You know, if there was anyone else you had your eye on or anyone in the past that you were still thinking about, this person is coming in. When they come in with their offer, it's going to like erase your mind from anything else. Like your focus and everything is going to be completely on this person as they are completely focused on you. And um, like I said, you're not. And I feel like from that moment, it's going to be a wild ride. Like this person has like a very adventurous spirit and they like to keep the the passion and the fun alive in a relationship or at least they intend to be that way with you and um yeah so it's like get ready for I, I just get like I, I'm hearing somebody say get ready get ready for a wild ride because that's what you're about to experience with this person this relationship is going to be full of passion full of fun but also like very grounded and um, I'm hearing like loyal, like very, a lot of loyalty between the two of you, um, companionship and friends. You're going to be friends, like real friends with each other as well. Okay. So, oh, I feel like I, I feel like I went on a whole roller coaster with these three options. I did not expect, I thought this was going to be a quick easy you know straightforward reading and god was like nope these people were just like nope that's not we got a whole lot more for you so yeah i hope you all enjoyed it i hope it was helpful um again if you have not checked out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of 2024 your love forecast for last year if you're watching this prior to me posting the 2024 love readings Go ahead and check out the Vimeo links below to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to that information can be found below as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance, and I'll be back with more readings, lovelies. Bye.